This video was made possible through a grant from the Haas Corporation. The Geek Group would like to thank Haas for their continued support in helping encourage innovation in design and manufacturing in America. The Geek Group proudly features ISCAR tooling in all of our workshops, videos, and hackerspaces around the globe. Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Iskar Rick. Welcome to the Geek Group. Today we're going to give you a basic button tour for the Haas VF2. Now the buttons on your milling machine may be a little bit different, but the basic layout on Haas machines has been the same since pretty much the beginning, beginning. of time. Yep. Yeah, it's and the buttons have evolved, the names and that have evolved, but the basic layout is pretty much the same. This is not a video to explain what every single individual button does. We will be doing that over the course of the series. This is the video so that when we mention a button in the future, you see something in a manual, this is the video you go to and say, where is that button? So because there's, they're not all right here, there's some buttons around on the side, we're just going to cover the basics. So to get started, Mr. Rick, hmm. where do we, up here, this quadrant, okay, we've got reset, power up, restart, and recover. Now, we know the reset button, that does right. the thing. The power up restart, use all the time. What's the recover? Recover is if uh, you have an alarm someplace and the tool changer is stuck in the middle of a tool change. Okay. Uh, with the recover button, it'll lead you through a ladder to fix your problem. So these are the medium doom buttons and turning on yes, and turning, turning off. On, that's turning off right. The big doom button is the big red yes. one right here. Um, this, this is a button we should talk about. This is the e-stop button. If everything goes sideways and the machine starts making really expensive sounds, the absolute first thing you probably want to do is just punch that. You don't have to be delicate with it. You don't have to be afraid of it. Slam that and everything instantly stops. It may make an angry sound doing it, but it's probably going to save you from doing something too terribly bad. When you come out of this, to turn this button off, you just turn it and then let go and then hit the reset and you'll clear out the air. All right, so the next quadrant of buttons is down here. These are our software buttons. They're just labeled F1 yep, through, one through four. F4. Yep. Now these will change. These will do different things depending on what you're doing. Exactly. And then under here we've got basic stuff for offsets, tool release, setting zero. Yep. So this setting is, tools, setting offsets. That's a good this, setting. This place. is your setup area. Yes. So we've got tool offset measurement. Yep. Next tool. Yep. Now. This isn't. This is different from ATC forward and ATC reverse. That's which correct. This is. We're working on the next tool. This isn't changed to the next. That's tool. correct. Okay. Tool release. This That's does. That's to release the tool to same as the button up on the spindle. Okay. And and they both work exactly the same. Same. Yep. Okay. Z part zero is set. setting your home position on your workpiece. Okay. So just your X Y Z zero. Yep. Okay. Um, that takes us into this quadrant. Now this will be different, especially the outside buttons. If you're on a lathe or a mill or whatnot, you'll see these change. And you may have buttons here for things that your machine doesn't have. If you, like this here, we've got the chip auger buttons. If you don't have the chip auger, those aren't going to do you any good. The buttons will be there, but they won't do anything. Okay. And we've got the coolant up and coolant down. If you don't have the adjustable we'll coolant, coolant thing, right. that won't do anything. Yep. But here, this is our access control. So if you want to select Z, X, Y. Um, the jog lock button's right in the middle, yep. and that's got a couple different uses, but we'll get into that. And then we've got coolant down this side and chip stuff down this side. So this is forward and reverse on the conveyor and stop, stop. and it's the same thing on the lathe. Yes. Um, and then we've got the auxiliary coolant thing, and that's the little... To put the coolant where you want it exactly. Okay. That's programmable. So our next area here is the overrides. This handles all the feed rate. So it's minus 10, regular 100%, and plus 10. This is for tweaking on tweaking the fly. Eyes, yep. And then we've got hand control feed. So if instead of going up or down by 10, you can push this and then turn the knob. And, and go up by 12%. Yeah. Uh, same thing here for spindles. So you've basically got speeds and feeds yes. here. Um, down here, clockwise or counterclockwise, or counter -clockwise, and then stop. This is spindle controls. Yep. So fast, forward and reverse. And then down here, basic rapid settings for 5, 25, 50, and 100%. 100% rapid overrides. Okay. Um, up here, this is display. This is, take us through this. We've got program con programs, conversions. Right, this is uh, for all your different programs, you know, to find your programs. Positions, 
Okay. You have your work offset, you have distance to go, okay. things like that. This is your offset page, all your different offsets, whether it be geometry, wear, height offsets, or your G50s. Okay. Uh, current commands, this will tell you what the spindle RPM, this is just your information. Okay. All right. Uh, your and alarms then, and messages, if you have an alarm, it'll tell you what, what the alarm is or a message left by somebody on the previous shift. Okay. If you left a message. Uh, your, your parameters and your diagnostics. This is uh, very rarely you get into this. This is uh, usually for your host servicemen. Okay. There's not much you have to do there. Uh, your settings, these are to personalize your machine for you. Uh, I like, um, I want it to run in metric. I want it to run in English. I want um, all kinds of fun things you can set to We're personalize. We're going to spend a lot of time and, in there. Sure. <laughs> yep. There's and, also another one about graph. Graph, and that is, uh, you can actually, um, in graph, you can run the program and watch it on the screen to make sure you don't have any issues where you need to hit the big red button. So that's where you do all your simulations. You, all your simulations, And then yep. we've got help and, and calculator. calculator. So yep. there's a built-in... Built-in calculator and a help menu. Okay. Yep. That takes us down into this quadrant. Mm -hmm. uh, this is basic navigation. This is cursor navigation yep. stuff. So home, end, which is go to sure. the bottom, page up, page down, and then... And those will work in correspondence with your display. Okay. Yep. So this gets you to the main area. This gets you, you to what works you're around doing. inside that area. Okay. Down here, we have a basic keyboard. This is all of your letters, and then over here is all your numbers. Um, the letters are not laid out in a query. It takes a little getting used to because it really is A, B, C, C D. E. Yeah, yep. it's the way they've done it forever. Forever. Um, they leave it this way because if they were to go to a query, it'd screw all the guys up that have been doing it for a million years. Right. So this is, this is a legacy originally, type layout. The story I heard originally, they did this because most of the machinists aren't, can't type. They Back hunt, in the day. They hunt and peck. Okay. So they did it in alphabetical order for a lot of the guys that didn't use typewriters back It makes then. sense. And so they, they've left it since. And we've also got an extra button down here, EOB. End of block. Okay. Over here, this is laid out just like a telephone. Yep. So, and then you've got your cancel space and write enter. This right. is this your enter button. this, yep. yeah. Now up here, the last quadrant, this is laid out kind of neat because this is all by line. So I'm yes. gonna go through each one by lines. What's our edit line? Our edit line, we can insert a character, we can alter it, we can delete it. And Haas has a beautiful feature, it's called Undo. You use that a lot. You use that a lot. <laughs> uh, they'll go, I believe, up to six, six entries. Okay. It'll undo up to six times. Okay. The next one is memory functions. Yep. So. Now you can run in single block, that's one line at a time. You can run it at dry run. Uh, this is for um, uh, testing your programs. Uh, you have your optional stop, that'd be an M1. Okay. You turn that on, it'll stop. And then uh, your block delete, if you have areas that you want to skip in the program, you turn this on and you can skip through it. Okay. Provided you highlighted it. Now, what's MDI? Manual data input. DNC? Uh, DNC is direct numerical control. Okay. And we've got things like coolant, orient spindle, and then forward and reverse on, on the, the automatic, automatic tool changer. changer. Okay. Yep. Um, next section is hand jog. And then we've just got numbers. Right. The hand jog, this will operate one ten thousandths of an inch. Um, uh, uh, one thousandths of an inch, ten thousandths of an inch, and hundred thousandths. Okay. So every click would be uh, in one thousandths. Every click it would move one thousandths of an inch. Okay. Or every one ten thousandths, or every ten thousandths, or every hundred. Okay. Okay. The next one is zero return. Zero return. You and then we've got all original, single, or, and yes. And this is uh, um, this is zeros out all your all your accesses at once. Uh, you can set origin. You can actually, oh, if I want to do oh, just Oh, so this one, is origin, not original. Yeah. This, this isn't like go to the original. No, this, this is, is an set origin. and origin. origin yep. okay. And then uh, single, let's say I want to just uh, send the X, the Y, or the Z. I say X, single, and it'll send just that axis home. Okay. All right. And then you're home for your G28 for your tool change. Okay. Okay. List programs. Mm -hmm. And we've got select programs. programs you can send them, receive them. So if you're going to send them to your USB or through your cable, it can be send or receive or um, erase a program. So okay. this is a file sharing. And on this particular machine, we have mm -hmm. something that's relatively new. It's been out for a while, but a lot of people aren't really mm -hmm. with it yet. This machine actually has Ethernet. Yes. So we get to teach all that. Something to remember while you're working in this quadrant is... To get to anything in this row, you have to go through this button. That so highlights that, it and then makes th makes this row active. Okay. Um, now, are there just out of curiosity, is there anything like where you don't do that? Like you'll be doing a thing in some operation and you just come over here and hit this, and you might be in the like hand jog, but you the coolant button will do that or it, you know anything yeah, like if that. If you're in if you're in hand jog, if you're in hand jog and you're moving the stuff around, if you need to turn the coolant on, you need to highlight this and turn the coolant on. Okay. So the and only then, way to get here is through. That's correct. Okay. 
while we're talking about the fact that to get to these, you have to go through these, that's true of some other things. Mm -hmm. there's, there's certain things that require a button sequence. Yes. Okay. So just like where to get to anything in this story, you have to go through this button to get there. Yes. There's some other things like the IPS where you have to go do a thing into another thing and there's, right. there's a system work. to it. To it, yes. Okay. And we'll talk about that in detail in, in the video for that, for that one. for yes. each specific thing. All right. We have to talk about the coolest control on here, yeah. the big giant Wheel of Awesome. Yeah, the Wheel of Awesome. So, <laughs> this is a rotary encoder. Yep. It's, it's a jog wheel is usually what's referred to in mm -hmm. the manual. It's just a knob, it's numbered zero to 100, and you use this for all kinds of stuff. Yes. This is, and, and it's not delicate. I've, I've seen guys just, you, you just crank on this thing. You yep. bang on it and it's designed to take a beating and you're not gonna wear it out. And you'll see machines out in the field from hanging on and going around a million times. It's actually polished from the skin. <laughs> oh yeah, yep. And there'll be, there'll be a, a, a one inch diameter circle of polished, highly from, from used. From the guy's fingertips. From the guy's fingertips. Okay, Yep. so that's the Wheel of Awesome. Wheel of Awesome. Officially known as the Jog Wheel. The Jog Wheel. Okay. Now, some of the buttons on here are like two layer buttons. They yes. Do explain that. Explain by, uh, the settings in the graph. Okay. You get to the settings, it does um, all the settings for whether it be inch or metric or whatever okay. you want to set. All right, the graph button will then bring up the page and you can do um, a program dry run and watch the program run. So is this, you hit it once, you go to settings, you hit the second time, you go That's to graph. That's correct. Okay. Yep, same with a help or okay. the calculator. Okay. It'll just bounce between the two. Okay. Yep. And your, your parameters and your diagnostics between the two. Okay. Yep. Cool. So that's the main area buttons down here. The big green button. That's your cycle start. This is green means go. Green means go. This is where you start making money. Now, what's the difference between the feed hold here, this big red button, and this big red button? This shuts the machine off. This shuts the hydraulics off. Okay. This just stops your operation where you're at. But certain things are still going. Yeah, the spindle's still running, the coolant's still on. It's just stop moving. Okay. That's all. This, this is, ah! And this is just, give me a second. Hey, yeah, give okay. me a second. Let me watch what you're doing. Okay. Yep. And then up here, these are on Power off. off. That's so, it. Now, over on the side, we have some more stuff. I'm going to turn this around so people can see it. Now, the top one is the USB port under its little protective cap. And I'll open this up. It's just a regular USB port like on the side of your computer. Mm -hmm. And we use this with thumb drives. Yep, for, to load and unload programs. And this is, this is how we've put programs in the machine. Like, it unless we're great. typing it in. Yep. So, yeah. Now, under that, we have a key switch. Yep, we have now, two of them. Yep. What are these for? Uh, one of them is for program lock. You lock it out. You, you turn the switch and then take this away. This way, the pro you can't edit a program. Okay, so this is if you have if the programmer and the operator are two different people. Yes. The guy working third shift can't screw up the program. Exactly. Okay. And that protects it. And the other one is just for it's for the doing setup, setup on right. the machine, yep. so that you can do things with the doors open, stuff like that. Right. Um, down from there, we've got a couple blank spaces here. You may have these features. This is just different stuff. Uh, the one that we use here is uh, this particular one is for turning the lights inside on and off. Mm -hmm. This button is the reason why we're making this video because for a lot of people, uh, it can be tricky. It's like, where is the button to turn the lights on? That button turns the lights on and off. And it's the same button, you just push it, lights come on, lights go off. We need to take a minute and talk about the pendant. Now, this is one that you're not really used to because your machine doesn't have this. Um, this is, it's a remote control. I know that. It's pretty much entirely software buttons. You'll, you'll see that these aren't labeled. Um, you've got basic cursor controls here. There's two different wheels. You've got the wheel here and the wheel here. This one is tensiony. Okay, so it, it springs. That's for moving feed rates. Yep. And this, it will let you select different things. Um, you can X, through, Y, Z, yep, A, different and Different axis, all yep. kinds of stuff. And then it's got your awesome feature on top here with. They had old guys. In, in, this is this, this is, is new. This is great. You know, old guys. You, <laughs> you get that forty something and you can't read. There you go. Nice it's job. The we've got another machine with a pendant, but it yep. doesn't have this on it. That's um, also you notice the pendant has a screen in that. It'll tell you well, like right now that's set for single would be this button, and option stop is here, and block delete is here. So, and then coolant over here. And then you've got your on and off. You can turn the machine on and off mm -hmm. from here. So all the buttons on here are software controlled. So they'll change depending on what mode you're in. And the screen will change depending on what mode you're in. Like right now we're in MDI. MDI, to go. right. So, um, and everything turns off when you put it back into thing. That just, now you're back to here. It, this becomes control. Yep. When this is off, this is the control. Yep. So that's pretty much 
Yeah, all, all the basic the controls. That's yeah. all the buttons. There are some other controls on the back, things like that. There's various valves and stuff, but that's pretty much only for the air system and that. And when we get into the details on the coolant system and the air system and stuff like that, we'll cover those specific controls. But those are pretty much set and forget buttons. Once your machine is installed and up and running, you're never really going to mess with that. So that's it. Yep. I'm Chris Bowden. I'm Miss Car Rick. And as always, we'll see you next time. The Geek Group would like to extend our deepest gratitude to the Gene Haas Foundation for making this program possible. Thanks to their generous contribution, we are able to train and inspire machinists all around the globe. This video was made possible in part by Mastercam, whose CAD CAM software provides the base to all code generated for Geek Group CNC projects. Operating the CNC machines in this video risks personal injury and mechanical damage. Hazards may include electricity, untrained operation, airborne toxins, flying debris and noise, fire and explosions, poor shop upkeep, sharp tooling, projectiles, loose clothing, inadequate clamping, automatic operation, automatic tool changer, unsupported bar, over-tightened steady rest, lack of enclosure, and impact. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.